The most popular sport in Great Britain and probably in the rest of the world is football. But many people say that another sport, cricket, is Britain's national sport. It's true that cricket is a very visible part of British culture. If you travel around the country in the summer months, you can often see groups of cricketers dressed in white playing on village greens. Boys, and today also girls, play cricket at school and take part in competitions against other schools. University colleges always have their own cricket teams and play against other universities. And many adults play cricket as a way of exercising and getting fit after work. It's a sport for all ages. Nobody really knows exactly when cricket originated, but it became very popular in the 17th and 18th centuries, first in the south of England and then in the rest of Britain and its colonies. In 1787, the first official cricket club was formed, the Marylebone Cricket Club in London. The club still exists today and has its home at the most famous cricket ground in the world, Lords. You don't need much equipment to play cricket. First, you need a cricket ball, of course. This is quite small and very hard. It's similar to the one used in baseball, but traditionally it is red. Then you need two long cricket bats. These are made of wood and they are flat on one side and rounded on the other. You also need two wickets. These are three long pieces of wood placed vertically at each end of the pitch, which is a rectangular area of grass. There are 11 players in each team. A player from the first team, the bowler, throws the ball and tries to hit a wicket. The other 10 players in his team are in specific positions around the pitch. Only two players from the second team play at a time. They are the batsmen, and each one protects a wicket. When the bowler throws the ball, the batsman tries to hit it away from his wicket with his bat. After hitting the ball, the two batsmen can run between the wickets and change places. If they do this successfully, it's called a run. At the end, the team with the most runs is the winning team. Cricket is played in many countries in the world today, but today it is still most popular in India and other Asian countries like Pakistan and Sri Lanka, in Australia and New Zealand, and of course, in Great Britain. It's a great game.